And shares of Chipotle are hitting new highs this year. Let's get into the outlook for the restaurant stocks in the year ahead. Our next guest, downgrading Wendy's and Chipotle's while upgrading Cheesecake Factory and Cava. Nick Setian, Wedbush Securities Restaurant Analyst, joins us right now. Uh, interesting series of moves here. Uh, Chipotle's had a great year. Uh, I think it's up over 60 percent, as I just looked a minute ago. Uh, yet you're downgrading it. Ex explain why. What's going on? Well, there's a couple of things. First, thanks for having me. Um, you know, number one, I think that in near term, sort of transaction acceleration is being driven by a, a very popular carne asada, limited time offer. That's going over last year's very underwhelming garlic guajillo steak, uh, uh, you know, LTO at the time. Uh, and this ends at the end of Q1. Um, we have some tough compares towards the second half of, of next year. And I'm just afraid that. You know, specifically, they don't have much in the way of, you know, new menu innovation to go over a very popular carne asada next year. And so, uh, you know, the valuation here is calling for perfection. Uh, I just think, you know, in the near term, there's a very specific reason why transactions are accelerating. And potentially after Q1, uh, we could see transactions start to yeah. decelerate. Wendy's hasn't had a good year. It's down 13 percent, but you're still downgrading it at this point. Why? Explain that again. Well, the context is that you know, grocery inflation is uh, is much lower than uh, uh, than, than restaurant inflation, uh, and it's going to stay that way for 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 quite some time. Uh, on the margin, we're seeing some share shift, uh, you know, from restaurants to grocery. QSR is direct meal replacement, uh, and so they're a little bit more exposed. And Wendy's just happens to be at sort of the premium end of QSR, and so uh, to me, Wendy's a little bit is, is, is a little uh, less well positioned than some others in QSR. So Dutch Brothers uh, added to your best ideas list. I do like Dutch Brothers. It's a it's an, an interesting little play on the, the coffee and somewhat fast food business, uh, but still not terribly large presence in the United States. Uh, what's the play here? Well, that's just it. There, there's not much of a presence, and there's a great opportunity. You know, the unit economics are tremendous, best in the entire public trade the restaurant space. Uh, and, you know, they have a lot of company-specific drivers kicking in this year. So uh, I think this is going to be a year where everything comes together and uh, the valuation starts to expand in a very meaningful way. And just finally, we got to go, but in 10 seconds, you're upgrading Kava here. Of course, the company just went public uh, this year, uh, and it's, eh, it's been okay. Tell us how you feel about Kava. Well, again, Kava's very under-owned. Again, great unit economics. I don't see any big negative catalysts ahead of us. Uh, and as long as, you know, the, uh, the fundamentals continue to, to perform, I think every growth PM is going to want to own this name. And that's going to drive this name higher.